Hi everyone, my name is Roshni. Welcome back to Betty Grew Up. So I'm here today to talk to you about a really quick and simple tool that you can use to make yourself feel a little bit more confident and just give yourself a boost of happiness throughout the day. Um, and what I love about this little trick is that it's so easy um, and so discreet that you can literally do it while you're in a meeting, you can do it while you're giving a speech. Um, no one would even notice that it's something that you're doing and it can just give you a huge boost of happiness and just um, a little bit of strength throughout your everyday experience. It's called a kinesthetic anchor and basically anchors are something that um, just kind of take you back to a certain time or a place. For example, when you walk by and you smell something that smells exactly like someone's perfume or exactly like a dish you used to eat with your family at this one certain occasion. It just kind of pulls you back instantly into that moment and gives you that same feeling of comfort, of warmth. Um, sometimes if it's like a negative memory, then you know, you get a little bit of fear. Instead of smell, we're going to use it with touch, which is why it's called a kinesthetic anchor. What you need to do first is think back to certain memories or certain times in your life when you were really, really happy, um, really joyful, and just felt kind of at your prime. So it doesn't matter how old you are, how far you know, in the past that is, if you truly feel like there isn't one single memory in your lifetime that you're joyful about or happy about, then think of a movie that you love or a TV show or a book that you read and why you love it so much. Think of the feeling that it gave you. So what I want you to do is pick one memory that makes you really happy and um, just allow yourself to really get into your head at what it was like to live during that time. So how old were you during this memory? What were you wearing? What, who were you around? Where were you? Um, just allow yourself to picture this memory and like basically insert yourself back inside it. So think about, you know, how you felt, um, what it was like to be that age again, um, just different things like that. So as you are picturing that, um, really allow yourself to live it, as I said. And once you're kind of at the peak of happiness and you've really got yourself in that space where um, you're feeling exactly what you were at that moment, that joy, that happiness, that comfort, um, the people around you. And once you are there at the peak, just go ahead and press your thumb to the inside middle knuckle of your middle finger. So all you have to do is just one light touch like that um as when you're at the peak of remembering this memory now think of another memory or another tv show or something else that you just love that makes you feel fulfilled that makes you feel happy um, warm generous relive that experience and then again when you're at the peak of it just touch this point right here um, so this is what's called layering onto an anchor so anytime this week I challenge you to just kind of keep this at the forefront of your mind and if you have you know just a beautiful sunny day or just a really great workout and that makes your day then just go ahead and touch this point again um, so you can do it while you're in the moment in real life throughout this week and that's just going to layer on and layer on great warm feelings happiness joy um, into this anchor so another thing that you can try um, towards the end of this video is you know to continue visualizing but then um, find a way to kind of neutralize your mind so get out of that happiness state um, and you can just think of something really neutral like think of your address your phone number think of the alphabet backwards and once you feel like you're kind of just in a regular normal mind space you're not um, really living in these memories anymore go ahead and just touch that point and see if you feel anything it shouldn't take too long to really start working and if you still feel like you need to add some more on then just continue visualizing continue picturing um, other different memories memories and just keep touching that spot. So now anytime that you are nervous, you are, you know, intimidated by someone or you just, um, you know, are feeling a little bit down and you want something to give you a little boost, all you have to do is touch your thumb to this same point and you should get just a bit of the feeling of all these different pleasant memories that you've had in your life that you chose to layer in this anchor. So I really hope that this helps you out. If you want to know more about um, self-love, self-compassion, and different tips and tricks and ways to cultivate self-compassion and self-love in your life, go head over to BettyGrewUp.com. I just wrote a dope blog post on that about visualization exercises and other kinds of activities that can really help you boost your level of self-compassion, your self-love, um, and just 
helps you get, you know, in a more, more fulfilled state of mind. If you enjoy this exercise and want to see more content and more exercises like it, follow this channel for different NLP exercises and really quick free tips and tricks to just deal with mental health and everyday issues. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.